we're all anxious. So Brad suggests we head down the main channel to find a female crocodile that he knows called Tutuana. She might allow us close enough to study her. We speed up our entry into the water to attract less attention at the surface. Our aim is to pick up yesterday's research, observing the crocodile's visual reactions underwater. Adam has asked us to get close-up shots of the crocodile's eyes. Within minutes, we find Tutuana. Can't believe that just a couple of feet away from me is a crocodile, a wild crocodile. I'm, uh, I actually don't feel very comfortable when I've got my head turned away from it. I was going to have another little look. Look at those teeth. You can see them from a long way away. Those powerful white teeth that they use for ripping their prey apart. Their teeth gleam bright white in the gloom. Crocodiles have a constant razor-sharp supply. Each tooth is replaced every 10 months. I am with this in its natural habitat. Something that very, very few people ever get to see, and I am petrified. I'm totally in Brad's hands here. I follow Brad's diving protocol. Keep calm, stay tight to the bottom to avoid looking like prey, and keep out of striking range of her jaws. I still feel I'm too close. Because this looks huge. It's uh, bigger than me. And you suddenly realise what power a creature like this must have. You'd be defenceless. Amazingly, there's no sign that this crocodile will attack us. Andy and Brad could be right. Maybe it does think I'm just a small crocodile and no threat. Then to surface. It's uh, sitting on the bottom. It's very relaxed. Sitting out of a current. Its eye looks a bit glazed over. Oh, it's just moving. One second. Oh my god, this is so close. Whoa. Just went straight past my head. Just starting to move. I'm a bit worried it's going to come down towards us. I'm sure it's looking at us. It knows we're here. But I feel certain that it can tell it's being watched. So Ben just said that he was sure that the crocodile was looking at them. <laughs> and of course it's hard to be certain, but this is one of the questions, is how, how well can they see underwater? You see, a lot of crocodiles live in really murky water, but this is crystal clear. So why would they not use vision? And they've got a transparent nictitating membrane. There has to be a reason for that. They have to be able to see shadows and shapes. And they, I, I reckon this croc can see them moving close but he probably doesn't quite know what he's looking at. 